Hey guys, Jenny Guns here, and in this video, I'm going to tell you quickly how you can uh, work around a fried Verizon router slash modem. This one here is the, um, what you call it, Fios uh, G1100. And uh, long story short, I was having a LAN party last week, and all of a sudden, the internet just cut out. I'm like, um, okay. What the hell? I tried everything. I tried multiple power supplies on this, and I uh, it just fried, dude. It it was less than uh it was less than a year old. But anyways, let's look at uh, the workaround. All right, guys. So here's your little box. Um, this is one of the newer ones. This was put back in February of 2015. So when you get into it, all you have to do is just pop it open like this. There's no battery in here. This one's just strictly Fios internet for my setup here. Here it is, right here. This guy right here. Now, real quick, I'm going to show you exactly what I discovered here. Down below is your coaxial, and that's if you're running that right now, and your let's say your router's burn out up there, in your house uh, upstairs, or you know like in the house, then you're going to want to switch over to Ethernet, and that that is it right there. And the way you do that is you call Verizon customer care. Uh, I think it's 1-800-MY-VERIZON and also you can Google uh, just Fios customer care and it will give you the number. You call in, you say you want to switch your ONT or your optical network terminal from coax to ethernet and they'll do that. They'll ask you do you have an ethernet cable in place and the thing is if you are like a, a network junkie like I am or like someone that you know did LAN parties or just has a lot of Ethernet Cat 5E or Cat 6. This is Cat 6, by the way. Uh, all you have to do is run a line from this port right here in your ONT to your like Apple router or any router that has a WAN on the back. Even a switch that has a WAN or wide area network. So that's it, guys. I just wanted to show you that, and that uh, allowed me to get right back on the internet without having a replacement sent to me or anything like that. So once again. If your router goes down you're using coaxial but you have a lot of ethernet cable lying around and you even have a crimper tool and you can cut your own cables. Honestly, it, it literally, if my name was on the bill, this would have been done in like literally as long as it took to get on the phone with the customer care. Now once again you can see here at the uh, ONT, uh, there it is, optical network terminal. And your uh, fiber optics come right in there and this handles all the uh, light to data stuff like that but that's all you got to do guys literally you run a cable uh, ethernet cable just like uh, you plug it in right there and then you run it mines run through the ceiling up through the floor to my computer room and then you just plug it in honestly I didn't have to configure my router at all it did it all it's an older Apple Airport Extreme and I was right back on the internet as soon as my fiance called in and said I want to switch from coaxial to ethernet on my ONT they switched it and I was back online no problem. I had that router already. The other one was fried, and that's that. So yeah, guys, just wanted to give you a quick video on what you can do if your modem goes down. A modem slash router that they give you. I don't know. I was just very, very disappointed in the quality. They said it was the best one, the best range, but my Apple Airport Extreme from 2012-2013 has more range and faster routing speeds. I mean, it's more responsive, in my opinion. And that's even with a... Uh, 10 slash 100 old school <laughs> Linksys switch involved as well for my uh, for uh, my TeamSpeak server and a couple other servers I'm running and all that stuff. So yeah, guys, just tell the customer service your files customer service you want to switch from coaxial to Ethernet on your ONT, and that should solve your problem for getting back online without uh, dealing with swapping all that stuff or traveling to a near store that uh, does swaps and all that on the router. Alright guys, hope this helps a little bit and uh, you take care. We'll see you in the next video.